right around or just a little bit past the jawline. That gives me those little pieces. But now I wanna be able to create elevation so that I have layers throughout the side of the head. I don't want just a face frame. Otherwise I would just slide it all in. I want to now use this as a guide and I want to elevate the hair to lighten it up. When you cut a face frame and you slide in, it makes it the heaviest that it's gonna be because there's no elevation in it. If you elevate the hair, you're gonna get a lighter result. So now, how do I section through the top and go about this cut? So what we're going to do is we start in the center parting and I'm going to find the high point of the head, which is right here, and I'm gonna pivot from there. So I'll go from here, pie shape section. So that's section one section two, section three. All of those will swing around the head and come up to me. Same thing here, section one, section two, section three. All of those sections will swing, come to the center and be cut up top. High point, right? Down, pie shaped section. This is going to swing up. I've got my guideline that I cut from before. And now I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to point cut that line. So I come up above the parting, there's my guide. So I point cut my line. I want this to be shattered. I don't want it to be a blunt line because blunt lines fall heavy. So I soften the line and I want my finger angle to be parallel with the round of the head right here. That's going to allow the hair to fall nice and soft back. If you elevate it, higher than that and you go here, now you're gonna have a more balanced layer that might not fall so much short to long, so it might rest with kind of a, a little bit of a shelf. Now I pivot, I grab another section, all the way down to the hairline, and I bring that up and around to my guide, which is right here. You can barely see that new hair because we're not grabbing too much. And then I take my last section, which is right behind the ear and I comb all that up and around to the center of the head up here. Tiniest bit to cut at that point. Now what's happening when I'm pulling hair from further and further back on the head? As I go section to section, I'm stretching hair further away from my cutting point. What is it doing? It's getting longer. If it's getting longer, we're building length towards the back. So when I go to comb this face frame out, see the little layers in there, they pop through, but you don't see steps in layers because of the elevation that we held it at. 